This Shabbat, the Ezrat Hashem, we are going to conclude Sefer Vayikra, the book of Vayikra with Parashat Bechukotai, and it's the occasion to wish to all of us Hazak, Hazak, Benit Hazek, especially when we read the first Pasuk of this week's Parasha. The first Pasuk is so symbolic, is so uh, powerful. As the Torah tells us, I want to make a deal with you. I want you to have Beracha, I want you to succeed, I want you to have a good life, I want you to have Paranasa. I want you to have Nachat from your children. I want you to feel HaKadosh Baruch Hu involved in your life. But there is a condition. And the condition is Im Bechukotai Telechu Ve'et Mitzvotai Tishmeru Va'asitem Otam That's all the Torah is asking from us. And I'd like to focus on the first sentence. Im Bechukotai Telechu What is the meaning of Im Bechukotai Telechu? And Rashi says Shetihyu Amelim Batorah One of the most famous Rashi in the whole Torah Kadosh Baruch Hu is asking us not just to learn Torah, but to be Amel Torah, to invest, to put effort in the Limud HaTorah. And I would like to connect this idea with the Midah of the Mount, the Midah of Seder, the Midah of being organized. And more specifically, as we reflect on last week's parasha, Parashat Behar, in which we explain that the real Mesader is Borei Olam, is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we should know that the reality is that we have our own part to play when it comes to the, to the Midah of Seder. And I would like to mention one idea, a schedule, to have a schedule. It's very important to understand that learning Torah is not something that we do because we have just free time or because the rabbi just happened to be here or because we just feel like it. After 120 years, when a person is going to go to Borei Olam, there will be a list of questions. Takadosh Baruch Hu is going to ask us, Nasata Natata Be'emunah, did you conduct a business with honesty? Did you have Asakta Be'peria Verivia? Did you have children? And of course, we have that famous question, Kavata Aitim La Torah. What is the idea of Kavata Aitim La Torah? Hashem is not going to ask, did you learn Torah? No, no, no. Kavata Aitim. Did you make sure that there will be a moment in your day that it would be only about Torah learning, that nothing comes across, that nothing is more important because you are right now learning Torah. Kavata itim la Torah. And I believe that's the idea of Rashi in this week's parasha as well. Shetiyu amelim ba Torah means that we have to truly make an effort when it comes to learning Torah and not just about the understanding, but that goes even about making that schedule, sticking to that schedule, making sure that nothing will actually intervene and hold us from sticking to that schedule. And I think that the Midah Seder definitely reflects on this idea that at the end of the day, learn, learning Torah is beautiful, but the way that the Torah really brings Beracha, all the promises in this week's parasha or parasha come not because the person is learning Torah. That's a big difference between learning Torah and committing to Torah learning to make sure that it's part of a schedule, that it's part of a seder. And only then, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, okay, you make the Torah a priority. You basically open to yourself a shower for beracha and hatzlacha in everything that you do. And I will be there to make sure that whatever you touch, whatever you deal with, will always be blessed and will always succeed. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu help us to have the midah of sheti yu amelim matora, to make that effort that the Torah is part of our schedule and not just something that we do on the site. And we should be zokhe for all the barachot mentioned in this week's parasha and beyond. Amen. Shabbat shalom umborach.